Hello, hello, my friends. It's Pam Jorgensen here. I'm an independent demonstrator here in Australia, and I am out in my studio this morning in regional Victoria, stamping away, and I have come up with the greatest fun fold. I'm gonna be using the Merry and Bright stamp set, which is what we finished with this week in my Facebook Lives. So make sure you find me at Stampin' In My PJs with Pam Jorgensen out on Facebook so you can see what else we've done with this fun, adorable stamp set. I just love it. Okay, let's get started. I have chosen today to make a really bright card to follow along with the things that I did on Facebook. So like I said, go find me so you can see what I've done. We're using Granny Apple Green, um, Melon Mambo, a piece of Designer Series paper, which is also coordinating with the Merry and Bright stamp set, and Basic White. So let's get started. First thing I'm going to do is give this a score. This is just, or not a score, a burnish. And I am going to grab my designer series paper. Now this is three and seven eighths wide by three and seven eighths. I'm going to put it into my paper trimmer, making sure, so I'm lining up these two points, right? And I'm making sure that I do not use my cutting blade and I'm going to score this paper in half. And that's it. Now this card base is not a normal card base. <clears throat> so this one is five and a half inches wide by seven and seven eighths inches long. So that's about your 14 centimeters by 20 centimeters long. I have a card base, what I'm calling my base. Now this is four and an eighth inches wide by five and three quarters inches long which is about 10 and a half centimeters by 14.5 centimeters. So just keep that in mind. Then I have an insert. So this one is three and three quarters inch wide by five and an eighth inches long. And then my basic white layer, white. Is, layer is nine centimeters by 12.5 or three and a half inches by five inches. Okay, so let's get started. So this is called an envelope card and you need to decide if your card base is going to go up and down. I like it when your card opens like a normal card. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to take my embossing folder and I'm going to go emboss this way and repeat on this side. So I have the bumps going both the same direction and I will be right back. So as you can see, I've embossed this piece of cardstock with an embossing pattern um, going the same direction, so it's both bumpy on both sides. And I'm just gonna gently come in and burnish that again with my bone folder. And we are going to take our piece of designer series paper and fold that in half so it's even. and give that a burnish as well. Now what I would say to you is hang in there with me because we wanna to get to the end and I will show you one of my other um, projects. So on the inside, let's do some stamping really quick. You need to kind of work a little bit backwards with this particular um, fold.
So what I've done is I've carefully um, trimmed around those and I'm gonna pop these up using some dimensionals. And I will probably just cut a strip I'm gonna peel off these backings and I'm just gonna go ahead and get this put down into our insert on our project. And I'm going to grab our gems while we're doing this and stick those in as well. So for today, I'm gonna to be using the iridescent adhesive backed gems, which are so fun, they're so bright. So I think we're gonna use green, maybe. They are so cheery. There we go. And then let's layer that down onto our, our insert. And that is going to be adorable, super adorable. So we have that done. Now I'm going to take these two ornaments that I've stamped and use the dies and go cut those out. And while I am cutting those, I have two additional little pieces. So I have these two tops, and I'm just going to use a piece of our silver foil out of our silver foil pack and cut two of those, and I will be right back. Those dies cut those pieces, so let's keep out those little silvers, and we'll put the rest away. And let's go back to our cute card. So here's what we need to do. First thing that we're going to do is we are going to take our liquid glue and you are going to put it inside your project. Now when you choose your designer series paper, it is always best to choose a paper that it, the direction, you need to look at how the patterns of the paper go so that it's not um, a pattern that's really, really, really crazy. Now I want my card, normally card bases open like this. Okay, so what I've done is taken our glue and put it inside that little scored triangle that we have on our project. Then I'm going to take our card base and I am going to lay that on the triangle, making sure that I'm evenly spacing out this triangle between the top and bottom. It should fit fairly close. I'm gonna give that a really nice burnish with my hand. Then I'm going to stick our insert in. Still, I'm gonna use liquid glue on this one just because it's fast, you can use your tape, but I do like the liquid glue when I'm putting things down onto my um, embossed paper. Okay, so give that a little bit of a push. Now we're going to take this and on the back side, okay, on the back, this is the part we've already glued down, I'm going to add some more glue And I'm going to center that onto that piece of cardstock that we've cut that just barely leaves a little bit of an edge. Another reason I like glue is you can shift it around till it's nice and even. And I'm just going to give that a nice burnish, make sure it's nice and tight. Now, 
Now, what you're going to want to do next is you need to have some type of closure to hold your project shut. You can do this in whatever, you can use a die cut, you can use a punch. I'm going to use a punch today. This is the new punch that comes out of um, the World Card Making Day. It's an early release and it is called, hmm, I'll put it in the comments. Put it down below because I can't remember the name of it and I've moved my stamp set so it is hidden from view. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to decorate this little punched shape. And remember, we've stamped and we've die cut out these cute shapes. So let me come over here. And I think what I'm going to do, let's see. I'm going to grab some dimensionals because I think I'm going to pop these up. I'm going to first glue on these little tiny tops to my ornaments. You can even add, if you wanted to, you could add in little tiny filaments inside of these ornaments. I chose not to, um, but you can. So let me set these here. Okay, so I'm back. I've embossed that. And I am going to take that. I'm eyeballing where my point is with my um, designer series paper. And I'm going to add a dimensional in the middle, at the top, and the bottom, as close to that edge as I can. I want to adhere this down over over this flap, but I don't want that to be stuck under my dimensional so that that then pulls up. Alrighty, so I'm going to add my ornaments and add some dimensionals, I think, underneath of these because we can. I might put pink over there because I already have green. So let's stack our pink one and then our green one. And what I had did prior that you did not see was I've gone ahead and embossed that same sentiment with black embossing powder. And I'm going to stick that, let's see, let's go like that. So I've done the Merry Christmas. Okay, so let's figure out where, I think we'll do that like that. Now I'm not going to pop those up because I already have enough stuff popped up. So we'll just add a little bit of our liquid glue. And then with Christmas, I'm just going to make sure that I only have glue on that end. And then let's grab some of our gems again and come back in and just finish decorating those. Those are so cute. I think we'll use, that's still just a little bit wet so it keeps moving around on me.
And so once that's dry, you'll be able to easily open that up. And when you open it up, it'll go like that. Now, I think what I'm gonna do is I have a spare one of these and I am going to pop that one up there. There we go. Have a holly jolly Christmas. Merry Christmas. And it's called an envelope card. So what I promised you was um, stick with me with this one and I would show you another one. So this is using the stamp set Autumn, Autumn. Let's see, what was it called? Autumn, Autumn something. And I've gone ahead and used some of the rose foil paper, some of the new designer series paper, and copper embossing powder. And then I just said, I'm thankful. This says today and every day, I'm thankful. called fun envelope cards really cute something a little bit different but fairly easy all right you guys thanks for hanging in there with me talk to you soon see you next friday on fun fold friday bye, -bye.